Last but certainly not least is my module and the actual best module, social messages. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So um, this module went on various street art tours, went to an art gallery that also served as a cafe, and various other things that helped us really understand how local artists work together to add color to the city. But having looked at the bright future for this wonderful country, it is also important to acknowledge its past. By visiting various war museums and learning about the history of Bosnia in depth in the classrooms, we were able to see the different contrasting parts of the city of Sarajevo. And after hours of working assiduously, we each um, created a digital poster exploring a message of post-conflict peace. Please welcome all the way from the US of A, Max, and the icon, Ariane. Hello, everybody. My name is Max. I'm born and raised in New York City, and I'm also here with... Aryan. I'm from New Delhi, India. And today we're going to be presenting the Social Messages module, which focused on art and activism within Sarajevo and Bosnia. For our module, our driving question was, how can art be used to convey a narrative of post-conflict unity while addressing a specified aspect of the war's legacy? So basically, we learned about the history of the Bosnian War and the dissolution of Yugos Yugoslavia, the history through an artistic lens, and created a summative graphic art piece wherein we promoted unity and peace in Bosnia and Sarajevo. Um, the his there were several aspects to our module. There, were the, there was the artistic side, there was the history, the language. Um, I'm first going to talk about the historical side of our module. So we learned about the dissolution of Yugoslavia. We learned about the political state of Bosnia and Herzegovina during the war and post-war. And finally, we examined how the different ethnic groups reside in Bosnia and Sarajevo post-war. So these were our main um, elements of history. And moving on to the second and third aspect, these were language and art analysis. And when it comes to these things, some things that we started off learning through our classroom sessions were understanding syllabic, uh, in intonation, dialectic, you'll hear it a lot, we say it a lot, confirming the... Dialectic. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, we combined all of our language and writing skills into making our artist statements and rationales. Moving on to art analysis, the things we decided to cover were looking into Bosnian war propaganda posters and taking out the pieces and bits of, and looking at the pieces and bits that were seven elements of art, appropriation versus plagiarism, and layout and font. On the left, you also see something that can be kind of classified into both, which is optical prioritization. I'll show you that later. So for our summative products, we experimented with different art mediums. We experimented with graffiti. We had a graffiti workshop. We experimented with stenciling. And then we learned about the digital software, the Adobe softwares, Illustrator, and Photoshop. These were the team summatives that we uh, created. You can see most of our pieces were graphic art pieces that were created at the end. Um, you, you can visit these posters uh, at our booth. So at the end, please come and we'll tell you more about each and every single one of them if you want to know. And you can see they're all really unique, which reflect our own ideas that we wanted to put into our summative pieces. So the first thing we looked at when developing our art artistic skills, um, we were first started with a spray paint workshop, which you can see mine is here on the left, says Welcome to the Jungle, and Aryan's abstract artistical masterpiece. Um, so after this, we decided to go through a process of like short-term sketching in a way where we could find a, something that we could put on a wall very easily and develop artistic standpoint from that. And then moving on, on the bottom and on the right side, we see our, sorry, we see our art pieces that we made through rolling over paint and stenciling. 
And this comes from two layers, which we sh highlighted and shaded, and then rolled over the two layers to create an art piece. And we cut out the different highlights, which makes mine different from Arian's. These are some of our mockups. So as I said before, we used Adobe softwares to create our graphic art pieces. On that side is Max's work. He has used Adobe Illustrator. And on this side is my mockups, like leading up to my final pieces, which was made on Photoshop. So there was a lot of freedom creative, like creatively where we were experimenting with different tools. And we started learning about this software from our online learning week, wherein we got a brief like an explanation and learning about how these tools work and how we can use it to create whatever we want to. This is my summative product. Um, as you can see, that is my like poster at the end that I created. Again, if you want to look at it closely, you can come visit our booths. This, this summative piece was created by me I, because I wanted to reflect on the tapestry of cultures and identity that make up Bosnia and Herzegovina as a nation, and how there are um, a mix of different cultures, there's different religious groups, and how all of them united, are united and make up the, the country. So as you can see, there are several elements of art involved here. I'm gonna emphasize on three. So the first one is text and font. As you can see, there I have used several different colors, different shades of grays and whites. That I've done that to balance out the overall composition. And at the end, you can see the the different languages that says together. It's in Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian, and Arabic. And I've used that because I wanted to emphasize on that part of my text. So that's why I used a brighter color. You can also see art appropriation. Art appropriation was a big part of our module. We looked at different artworks, which has art appropriation in it. And what I have appropriated is um, and Babies by the Art Collation. And I have used their way of text, which was confirming the dialectic, wherein there was an implied question of together. And I have confirmed the dialectic by saying together in several different languages, which represent Bosnia as a nation. Thirdly, we, uh, I also created this uh, poster with blue in the background with, to promote peace. That's in the color, uh, how different colors um, radiate different types of emotions. So I went for blue, pick one, because it's a color used for peace. And second, also, because this is the exact color of the Bosnian flag. So similar to Aryan, I also focused on three different aspects of art, which can be represented here. The first one, like I said earlier in the slideshow, uh, the primary optical quadrants, and that can be displayed by this neon green line that goes directly vertically and horizontally across. And what that means in the Western world is naturally we read left, right, bottom left, bottom, left, bottom right. Um, so the reason why this is important in my piece is you have positive space with a golfer in the top left and the hole in the bottom right, and then negative space in the top right and negative space in the bottom left. The second thing I worked on was implied text, which you can see here, hole in one. You understand what it means because hole in one is a play on words in the golf world. And the word that I changed is hole, so taking it away from the actual meaning or the actual word that is used in the golf world, which is hole. and Whole. You get it. And then finally, I did something which is connection to the plate, and this is also incorporated in all of our art pieces, which is the historical, historical aspect. So you can see on the tee box, we have the Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian flags, as well as on the golf balls. And then finally, we have the Yugoslav flag, which is manipulated from a star to a peace sign to represent the unity and peace that Yugoslavia once had. This was our final product. Um, I would request you all to please, again, visit the booth and you can take our prints. We have art prints from every summative done by the students in a module. And I would also request the TGS students to wait for the guests to take it and then you can take the prints which are left so that everyone can have one. Yes, that's it. Um, we want to give a special thanks to, I know Mac is here, he's in the crowd. You helped us greatly with making our art pieces and giving us feedback, as well as our three module leads, Adam and Rachel. So much appreciation. And then finally, the guest speaker, Zero One, who taught us a lot of what we know on the historical context. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.